สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to the Nation's Daily. Today is Thursday, 30th of November, 2023, and you with me, Nina. According to the Royal Gazette, former Prime Minister Prayut c h a n o c h a has been appointed to the Privy Council by His Majesty King Mahawashira l o n g o n In the latest World Bank report, improvements in worker skills and increasing female participation in the labor force are some of the key recommendations to Thailand tackling inequality and poverty. Muay Thai legend Bo Khao Van Cha Mek will fight his nemesis Nayanesh Aiman this Saturday in his final Muay Thai tournament this year. So, former army commander and former Thai prime minister Prayut Chan O Cha has become a member of the Privy Council today, as the announcement was published by the Royal Gazette yesterday night and takes effect today. Prayut came to power in 2014 after leading the coup that toppled Yin Lak Chin Wat government. He was elected prime minister in the following general election and re-elected in the 2019 election. He left office in August this year. The Privy Council was the first appointed during the reign of King j u l a l o n g k o n or Rama V as the personal advisor to the king. The council coordinates between the crown and the government, the parliament, the court of justice, the private sector, and the people on matters within its jurisdiction. And now let's move on to something that is. A very big problem for Thailand, as the latest uh, World Report, as the latest World Bank report, improvements in worker skills and increasing female participation in the labor force are some of the key recommendations to Thailand tackling inequality and poverty. The report was released yesterday under. Bridging the gap in equality and jobs in Thailand. This aims to provide a movement landscape of the country's income and employment inequality. It attempts to to answer three questions. First, how did poverty and inequality change over the last two decades, and what drove these changes? Second, what causes persistent inequality? And third, how did the COVID-19 crisis affect poverty and inequality's trend? The report revealed inequality in Thailand began very early in life, with unequal opportunities for human development, and persists throughout the life cycle and across generations. While the report examines patterns of poverty and inequality in Thailand and how the pandemic affected their trends, it pays special attention to the inequalities in the labor market. According to the finding, Thailand has made significant progress in closing the wealth and poverty gap since the early 2000s, but progress has slowed since 2015. Thailand had the highest level of income-based inequality in the East Asia and Pacific region in 2021. The World Bank also revealed that disparities in educational opportunities and skills, low farm incomes, and aging population and rising household debt all pose challenges to Thailand's effort to reduce inequality. Although COVID-19 s effect on poverty and inequality was relatively mild, the pandemic may have exacerbated. The existing gap in the learning outcomes and household debt challenges. Meanwhile, Thailand's rising cost of living and shrinking working age population share are additional factors complicating efforts to reduce inequality. So, in conclusions, World Bank advises Thailand can use the pandemic crisis to promote necessary reforms and create a more equal and inclusive society. And a country in particular needs to assist schools in assessing students' learning and provide learning recovery program by strengthening social protection. Programs and providing well-targeted assistance, existing transfers will be able to benefit poorer households more effectively. And with this, Nong Lak, who is our reporter, has more details about this as she attend the conference and also she interview e uh, d Nadia b e l h a s h has since the World Bank poverty economist. I think uh, there are uh, several uh, issues uh, that uh, Thailand uh, need to uh, handle, and uh, I think the most uh, uh, the most urgent one is really the spatial disparity. As you could see from the videos that are presented, also from the students, many regions are lacking the levels of access to education and health uh, and uh, basic services, and they are facing poverty levels that are equivalent to what we are observing. 
living in middle uh, income uh, countries. So, and then you have other uh, regions that have a quality of uh, services that is at the uh, high income level countries. So these disparities across the country are really creating uh, a lot of uh, problems and uh, probably uh, should uh, uh, be given uh, more attention. Okay. Thank you, Nong Lak. And now let's move on to another very big issue in Thailand and also a big matter for ASEAN region as well as the violence in women, especially migrant workers, as well as protecting their rights are somewhat worrisome uh, situations in ASEAN. But what are the development on this issue? Jaru Pong, who is our reporter, has more detail about this. Hi, Denise Shen. Today I'm in the Bangkok Art and Cultural Center to attend the event uh, organized by the United Nations to, with an aim to end, put an end on the violence against women. The event title Safe Journey with Her Ending Violence Against Women for Safe and Fair Migration. The event aims to raise public awareness and interest in the challenge facing ASEAN women migrant workers as well as their rights and contributions. Also, the event showcase and promotes the safe and fair project involving its key messages, milestones and achievements in ASEAN between 2018 and 2023. It described as a story through storytelling, interactive exhibition and engaging activities. As always, please follow the nation website for more information about this story. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jaru Pong. And now let's move on to something more of a heavy weight. If you are a Muay Thai fan and if you are a fan of Bua Khao Ban Cha Meg, don't miss out this Saturday match as the Muay Thai legend Bua Khao Ban Cha Meg will fight with his nemesis Nayanesh Amen this Saturday, December 2nd in his final Muay Thai tournament this year. So the match is part of the Rajadamnon World Series or RWS and will be held at Rajadamnon Stadium in Bangkok, of course, known as the home of Muay Thai. The third round kickboxing match this time will mark the second time that Bua Khao goes against Congo-born Spanish fighter Nayanesh, who savagely knocked the Thai kickboxer out in the first round of the 65th Kunlun fight held in China in 2018. So Bo Khao now, he's 41, say that RWS could be his last kickboxing fight in Thailand be before he embarks on new challenges in other kind of martial arts. However, he said that he will always remember how great it is to fight in front of Thai fans who make him feel so welcome. He also said that he will do his best in this fight and will not let his fans down. So this Saturday, there will be a total of eight Muay Thai fights. The Bo Khao versus Nayanesh is going to be in the last in the Saturday's program and will wrap up the series for this year. And the matches will also be aired around the globe in, in over 200 countries by design. And tickets are available at rashadamnern.com. So if you don't have anything to do this weekend, why don't just go and support Bo Khao and also other kickboxing fighters at Rajadamnern Stadium this Saturday. And that's all for the Nation Dailies today. You can also find out more information about us on our website nationthailand.com, also on our social media, Facebook, X and Instagram. For now, สวัสดีค่ะ.